Hey there, Jim Johnson from AccentHelp.com here, and I'm talking about the diphthongs, making my way through them, and we're at the third one here, the symbols that are commonly used to describe the face diphthong, the A, realization, um, that I just did, realize, A, Asian. So pay, face, fade, that diphthong. Now, as I said in the overview, you can oftentimes shorten the second half of that. For most Americans, it tends to hold fairly close to this. Variations on this. As I mentioned, with all of them, you could have some neutralization at the beginning. You'll especially drop the second half if what follows it is an L or an R, so that fail or mayor may become fell and mare sort of going all the way to there. But the other big thing that does happen in the far northern U.S. especially is where the second half of this diphthong may actually go away completely so that you end up with just an A. A. You might think of this as kind of the Canadian stereotype. Okay, A, today. That second half going away, but you'll get this in Minnesota. There, today, today where the second half may be gone completely. You'll get this throughout the northern U.S., and that can even carry over to, uh, into, like, Alaska. That can carry over into, for some people from Montana, but especially when you're talking about, like, North Dakota, upper Midwest, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan. You'll get, uh, so you'll get these variations that can happen. That's the biggest thing that I will say that can happen with that. This is also something that happens in accents around the world. So you could think of it as an Irish thing. It tends to happen most strongly in Northern Ireland, where you end up with A. That's your face, your face, which may in some places actually become almost like um, face, face. So you end up with some big variations that can happen to that. But when you're talking about ESL accents, English is a second language accent, almost all of them, they simply go to A, today. In almost every single English as a second language accent. So it's useful to know about that second half dropping away. Most Americans, though, it gets realized as something pretty close to this. So that's the face diphthong, especially in American accents. If you want to dive into learning accents as an actor, you're welcome to check out AccentHelp.com. And if you want to dive specifically into American accents, check out the Generican materials.